Good afternoon, Moore Medic 1. Today I've got a little gravely zero turn mower on the bench. Oh lordy. I'll show you what happened. The pumps and the wheel motors are just grinding like crazy. Uh, the reservoir is full, but however, it's full of just regular hydraulic oil. You can't run hydraulic oil in these lawn mowers. You gotta run a 20W50 motor oil, um, preferably a synthetic but uh, you can get away with 10w30 but don't do it unless you just absolutely have to uh, but 20w50 don't run this hydraulic oil in here fellas you'll burn this sucker up let me get on the machine i'll get it cranked up and i'll show you what it's doing i'm gonna try to go forward on the left side Right side, very chattery. No bueno. First thing you want to do is suck all the oil out of the tank. Remove the cross brace. Go ahead and pull your wheels off. Go ahead and remove this carter key and this nut. Repeat the process for the other side. Go ahead and remove your hub. Sometimes they can be a little tricky to get off. You may need a three jaw puller like this one, but uh, we'll just try it. I got a little pressure on that and I'm gonna tap it with a hammer. Keep working with it and it'll finally pop off i'm gonna talk while i work uh, basically whenever you get the hub off all this one this one has been leaking for a while but if you look all this kite string or fishing string around this thing will get wrapped around the shabs and they'll get into these seals and cut these seals out hub is wet from it leaking uh, the reason I'm going to replace these hydraulic motors and pumps is because the customer wants it. Um, plus, there ain't no telling what kind of damage is done by running that hydraulic oil in here. But uh, the next step you want to do is just clean everything off real good with compressed air. Wear your safety goggles when you do this because it will blow into your eyes. And then we'll start unbuckling hoses and getting these pumps and wheel motors out of here. You're going to be thinking, what in the world is he doing? Well, what I'm doing, I'm going to, whenever I tell you I'm doing something, I may be on the left side and then I may be over on the right side. I've got both sides apart just the same. The repair procedure is the same. Uh, basically, what you want to do, put you a catch can under here so it'll catch some of the oil and uh, just break your lines loose. It's a 15 sixteenths. And just loosen those up and get them up out of the way. Once you get your lines loose, just let it drain there for a minute. Uh, I've already drained the fuel, uh, not the fuel tank, but the oil tank. Uh, the next step is going to be, to be to remove all six nuts, bolts, holding this assembly to the tractor. To get these out, you won't have to uh, look and see what you're doing. Just get you a backup wrench and you can go up under, under the back of the machine on both sides so you can hold the nuts while you turn uh, the bolts out. Once you get all your bolts out of the wheel motor assembly, you should be able to just pull it straight out of the tractor. <clears throat> Pretty heavy, so be careful. And uh, we'll swap out the, the wheel motor. Uh, we'll put it inside this bracket and we'll swap the fittings. Now that I've got both wheel motors out of here, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the deck belt. Once you get the deck belt loose, uh, basically there's an idler arm here with a spring on it. You want to take the slack out of the spring and remove the belt for the pumps right here. Next thing you want to do is remove the push nut that holds the push bar on. It's pretty big. It's an inch and five sixteenths. Have to use a three quarter inch socket. Once you get that big old sucker out of there, let me show you why I had to remove it. 
it's sticking through like this. Where is it? Oh, there's my finger. Look like a piece of the lawnmower. But anyway, you have to uh, take that out so you can have gain clearance to uh, remove the pulley for the pump. Once you remove the uh, nut that's right here, it's a 10 millimeter. Go ahead and spin this around so you can get to these uh, stop bolts. They're 7 16 head. Go ahead and remove those, and the pulley should just slide on down. Once you get the pulley completely off, uh, you'll look right here. Uh, the bolt that holds the pump on is actually like a stove bolt, which is pretty cool because uh, you don't have to have a backup wrench on the top side when you loosen the, the nut from the other side. And uh, let's get the uh, all the linkages disconnected from the pump and the hoses, and we'll uh, we'll get this pump out of here. Remove this bolt here, and right behind there is the shock absorber for that. Just take you a small little pry bar and just pop it out of the way. Get this pump out of here is pretty straightforward. What you want to do is I've got a long extension, and you want to snake it down through right there and then you can hit right on that bolt and just uh, get you a ratchet I think I put it away there it is right here Loosen. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to use two hands, but loosen that bolt there, and there's one right there. You can do it the same way. Well, I've got, it. I've got everything that I can get loose from the bottom side. Oh, and I also removed the oil filter for the hydraulic system. Just go ahead and lower this thing down. It's not gonna hurt to let it rest on the deck. gonna go pretty low it may drop all the way down hey we got a low rider now <clears throat> okay we've got the mower sitting on this belly pan it's not gonna hurt anything we're gonna get to the nut right here on top I'm gonna let this lawnmower all the way down to the ground move the uh, hydraulic fan on the right side of the hydraulic pump Set it out of the way. Remove your adapter pulley. It may be stuck on there. Crack your hoses loose here, here, and here. Both sides. Once you get all your hoses disconnected, this pump will just come straight up and out. We'll get the new one set it next to it as you can tell they're just a little bit different we're going to have to do a little surgery we're going to take the bracket off of this one and transfer it over here we're going to transfer all the fittings to the new pump and then uh, we'll get the pump back in all the hoses put on get the wheel motors put back and uh, get the system flushed out and all the air purged out of it and we'll see how it goes I went ahead and swapped the bracket over uh, now we're going to take the fittings out of the old pump transfer them to the new one uh, just be sure the o-rings are good and not dried and hard and cracked on both sides these are still very pliable so we're going to reuse them And just repeat this process to the other side of the other side where the other pump is go ahead and set your new pump in place and start hooking up all of your hoses uh, you can go ahead and tighten them down while you're here with your big long extension and uh, get both the bolts just snug and get all the rest of the hoses on there and then we'll uh, tighten it all back up get the fan put back on and uh, I'll do the other side then we'll get like I said a while ago we'll get the wheel motors put back on here get the wheels put back on it and 
take her first spin. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna swap the wheel motors over now. One good thing about a wheel motor, there's no left and right. They're universal on the right or the left. Uh, basically, take your screws out here. We're gonna take this bracket, put it on the new one. We're gonna take the uh, fittings and transfer them to the new wheel motor. After you swap the brackets and the fittings, go ahead and slide her in place and go ahead and bolt her back up with your six bolts. Everything seems to be going good. I've got both wheel motors in. I've got the, both the pumps in. I've got all the hoses tight. I'm going to put the fan back on right now while I'm thinking about it. Set that right there, and then run the nut down. Do do do. do. That's why you should be organized. Here she is. Get that run down, and uh, we're going to raise it back up so we can get back underneath and start putting pulleys and belts back on. Go ahead and get your uh, pump pulleys. Go ahead and mount them onto the shafts right there. And get those torqued down. Go ahead and thread your uh, pump drive belt back on there and put the spring back on. And we'll put the big, huge bolts back through it here. And then we'll go through the frame to hold the deck on. After you get your pusher arm bolts back in, go ahead and thread the deck belt back on. Back here at the electric clutch. Go ahead and slide your new hub on and tighten the bolt. Uh, use a new carter pin and uh, do the same for the other side. Go ahead and get your wheels and tires put back on it. And uh, just uh, be sure you install a new fuel, uh, oil filter. And just double check all your lines. Make sure they're tight. And we'll add oil to the tank here in just a minute. And uh, purge out the uh, air. And we'll take it for a test spin. Go ahead and press on your shock absorbers. I like to use a uh, pair of channel locks. And just pop them back on just like that. And do the same for the other side. Whew, I'm tired y'all took me about four hours to do it all but uh, basically what you want to do whenever you get everything done uh, raise the rear of the tractor up and uh, let the wheels roll stroke your handles back and forth uh, fill up your reserve tank full of uh, hydraulic excuse me wrong terminology 20w50 synthetic motor oil stuff that you put in an engine is what goes in the hydraulic system on this but uh, let's get it cranked up and I'll we'll take you for a joy ride this sucker hauls butt questions about uh, Gravely lawnmowers, zero turn mowers in general. If you have any questions about hydraulic systems, just let me know. More Medic One. Y'all have a great day.